Hmm. I'll just try the tutorial see. See how it goes. There's video tutorials here, but I, yeah. I don't know if I want to sit through video tutorials, but I can help it. It's taking a little while, isn't it? No loading bar or anything, so we can actually know if it's loading or not. Points. No 
north is zero slash 360 degrees. This is the convoy that you are protecting. Prevent the U-boat from reaching it at all cost. Once a U-boat appears on the radar, the radar man will start reporting on it, and you will be able to mark its position with the Dead Reckoning Tracer, DRT. You can click on DRT to bring up the DRT view. The DRT is a plot table that can greatly help your situational awareness. The moving light represents our destroyer and also has compass bearings on its outer circumference. The moving light. Well, I don't see a moving light. mouse wheel to zoom in and out or click it and hold to scroll the camera around. The two available scales are 1 to 1,000 yard and 1 to 1,000 yard and can be changed here. Make sure to use the 1 to 100 scale whenever the enemy is at 1,000 yard or closer. center of the moving light to mark your current position. Then, listen to reports from radar or sonar to mark the enemy position. You can do that by snapping the ruler zero point to the most recent destroyer position, pivoting the ruler to the appropriate bearing, and clicking next to the at the appropriate distance. Click and drag the disc or the ruler to change its position. Updating the plot regularly will help your understanding of enemy maneuvers and your maneuvers in relation to theirs. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is... Uh... You can also snap the ruler to previous destroyer positions as well as the two most recent U-boat positions. This allows you to estimate both destroyer and U-boat courses. After snapping the ruler to a point of reference, you can draw lines by clicking and dragging the mouse along the ruler. If the plotting space becomes too crowded, you can erase everything by clicking on the Erase All button. If you wish to erase particular dots and crosses, click on the eraser button and then click on the point you wish to erase. Wow, this sounds a bit much on that. If the elbow joint of the protractor arm gets in the way, you can click on it to move it to the other side. If the moving light reaches the edge of the table, you can click on it and drag it along the table to adjust it to a desired position. Lastly, if you find manual plotting too difficult, remember that you can turn autopilot on in the pause menu. You can also click on the pencil button on the right to engage the DRT's function to plot the own ship's maneuvers automatically. So that button there, perhaps that is autopilot. I don't know. <sighs> you can also adjust course and speed from oh. combat. Okay, so that must be course and that speed. So, which is autopilot then? Who knows? Now let's take a look at a tool for close-range plotting. You can move. 
The own ship's course and target bearing projector is extremely useful when you are approaching a U-boat to make a depth charge attack. It shows the destroyer's silhouette, its current course, and where the sonar transceiver is pointing. You can also mark U-boat positions on it, which will help you visualize U-boat maneuvers during your attack approach. Right. Oh, man. I, I don't know. I, I'm thinking this is probably... Uh... <laughs> you can also observe both true bearings, numbers on the outer circumference. You can... You How can do we move. get out of here? the sonar room by clicking on sonar let's just go in and um, see how it goes December 7th 1941 the Japanese unleash a devastating attack against Pearl Harbor dealing a painful blow to the Pacific Fleet more than 2,000 American servicemen perish while attempting to repel the onslaught and although the attack fails to knock out the strategically important aircraft carriers, it succeeds in shaking the American people to the core. Entering the war is no longer a choice. It is a necessity. On December 11, Nazi Germany declares war against the United States. Just a few days later, Operation Paukenschlag is put in motion by the commander of U-boats, Karl Dinitz. This long-range operation is an attempt to cripple the U.S. merchant fleet, which holds a key role in supplying Great Britain in its struggle against Hitler. All along the U.S. East Coast, German U-boats sink hundreds of American tankers and cargo ships, slowly tightening the noose around the neck of Great Britain. It is clear that without American support to their war effort, Britain's survival will be measured not in months, but in weeks. With a majority of its might focused on fighting the Japanese in the Pacific, the U.S. Navy is left with very few anti-submarine vessels available for the Atlantic theater, not even remotely enough to introduce an efficient convoy system that could protect a merchant fleet from the U-boats. The bloodbath continues for months, and the fire from burning tankers becomes a common sight from the shores of the East Coast. The survival of Great Britain now hangs by a thread. Finally, in May 1942, the U.S. Navy manages to muster enough anti-submarine ships to put the convoy system into effect. Now, with the help of the Royal Canadian Navy, merchant ships are escorted along the U.S. coast to form convoys around Newfoundland. Only then are they ready, having been joined by their guardian angels, to set out on the perilous journey across the Atlantic. At last, the Steel Wolves of Dennett's will be facing a challenge. They are about to meet a whole new breed of enemy fast, maneuverable, and more than capable of sending a submarine to the bottom. The Fletcher class destroyer. Surface radar has a new contact. Bearing zero, five, four, range 4,600 yards. Okay. Uh, I thought I was supposed to have a. Um, this must be a different Contact boat. Contact Able now bears zero five six range four thousand seven hundred yards. Well, yeah, he's. It's the view I was thinking of, right? the sonar. That's it there. Contact Able now bears zero six zero range four thousand seven hundred yards. So what you need then is where do you get which is um uh... Is what I find. Contact Able now bears zero six two range four thousand four hundred yards. Stand by to fire. Oh, somewhere over there, is it? Contact Able now bears zero. Six five range four thousand one hundred yards. Uh, 
Let's see it. Start tracking contact. Target bearing. Zero. Six. Seven. Range. Three thousand. Nine hundred yards. Contact. Able. Now bears. Zero. Six. Seven. Range. Three thousand. Nine hundred yards. Target acquired. Fire. Target bearing. Zero. Seven. Zero. Range. Three thousand. Seven hundred yards. Contact. Able. Now bears. Zero. Seven. Zero. Range. Three thousand. Six hundred yards. Which side would it be? Lost contact. Able. Last bearing. Zero. Zero. Seven. Forward. Seven. Last Four. range. Three thousand four hundred yards. Say zero seven four. So maybe it's gone under. Um. So this is me, and that must be the enemy. What if I move towards that? That would be... Um, it's C0. Um, <laughs> uh. Rudder, 30 degrees left. Rudder, 30. Degrees left, aye sir. Hard left rudder. Hard left rudder, aye sir. No, I don't want to do that. Maybe, um, see that's straight lines, so. Rudder, 25 degrees right. Rudder, 25 degrees right, aye sir. Um, what speed should we do? All engines ahead, one third. All engines ahead, one third. Aye, sir. All engines ahead, two thirds. All engines ahead, two thirds. Aye, sir. So we're basically going in a circle at the moment, aren't we? So I probably want to... Rudder amidships. Rudder amidships. Aye, sir. What do these things do? Ready depth charges, 
medium pattern. Uh, okay. Stand by to fire. <laughs> fire on my own ship. It'll be funny with it. Yeah, oh well. It doesn't. It, this is very much a simulator for sure. Um, didn't know what I was going what, what the game would be like, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> and it's a big thing. Rudder, 25 degrees left. Rudder, 25 Maybe, degrees uh, left. Aye, sir. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I'm just looking for something kind of Okay, he's trying to pick up the play, I think. <laughs> uh, I did play, like, Silent Hunter 2 back in the top of the day. It was, that was actually quite good. But, yeah, it was obviously nothing like this. this <laughs> This would be really, uh, really cool for someone who, who um, has an interest in this kind of thing, and, and I can I can see this would be really, really awesome. But um, like for me, I'm gonna have I'd have to watch the uh, video tutorials, and and then hopefully from there I could probably go through the tutorial. Um, and, and understand the thought process and, and what's going on there. Uh, Rudder amidships. Rudder amidships. Aye, sir. I'm not too sure if the enemy, if they might have decided to uh, back off or something, or maybe they've gone... Um, Starboard lookout, object one half to the horizon, bearing one, seven, zero, appears to be periscope feather. Okay, well, uh, let's see, so that must be our path, and then there's something happening there. Or is that us? Or, no, that must be. That must be the enemy, perhaps. But that's what we are. Oh no! Wait a minute. That's me clicking there. Right. Um. Hmm. Well, it's ready. Depth charges. Shallow pattern. Probably shallow because it's got. Um, Stand by to fire. Periscope, and then it says here, one seventy degrees. So if we. Uh, I, I kind of want to head in that direction then, don't I? Uh, this here is quite weird to understand. I think I need hard left rudder. Hard left rudder. Hard left rudder. It's gonna Aye, take sir. forever getting around to that bloody angle, Hard left right? rudder. Hard left rudder. Aye, sir. Hard left rudder. Hard so left rudder. We'll need to Aye, get the speed up probably. All engines ahead full. All engines ahead full. Aye, sir. Maybe 
ready to go. All engines ahead, two thirds. All engines ahead, two thirds. Aye, sir. Come on. Oh, come on. A message from the convoy commander. The convoy has been hit. Rudder, 25 degrees right. Rudder, 25 degrees right. Aye, sir. All engines ahead full. All engines ahead full. Aye, sir. Yeah, we're we'll obviously <laughs> stopped, I think. <laughs> Rudder amidships. Rudder amidships. Aye, sir. We have just lost a ship. We have lost one ship so far. Oh, the convoy has one. been hit. Understanding how this works, I don't think we're going to be able to do much. Seating suits be oh, okay. So we're going to slow all down. engines ahead one third. All engines ahead one third. Oh, actually, Aye, I think, sir. I think all two engines ahead the right two one, thirds. Right? All engines ahead two thirds. Aye, sir. Maybe I need Ready to go medium. Charges. medium pattern. See it, chat. What? Sonar combat. Investigate arc three one five through zero four five. Combat sonar. Investigating arc three one five through zero four five. Sonar I. All engines ahead one third. All engines ahead one third. I sir. Rudder, 30 degrees right. Rudder, 30 degrees right. Aye, sir. Bridge, starboard lookout, torpedo in the water. Bearing, zero, three, nine, relative. Torpedo in the water. New sonar contact. Bearing, zero, three, five, range, 800 yards. Very strong propeller noise. Bridge, starboard lookout, torpedo in the water. Bearing zero four one relative. Contact able now bears zero three one range nine hundred yards. Estimated depth shallow. Zero three one. Well, that's going to be twenty degrees right. Rudder twenty degrees right. Aye, sir. Starboard lookout, torpedo in the water. Bearing one seven zero. Relative. Contact. Able. Yeah. Now bears zero two nine. Range nine hundred yards. Bearing steady. Yeah, what's that? Bridge. Port lookout. Torpedo excited. Bearing one nine <laughs> two. Contact. Able. 
now bears zero, two, nine, range, 900 yards. Very strong propeller noise. I wonder if you just drop some. Uh... Stand by to fire. How do we do the. Contact. Able. Now bears. Zero, two, nine. Range, 900 yards, bearing steady. Load star shells. Load point detonation. Yeah. Stand by to fire. I really want to drop some bits charges, but... Contact, able, now bears, zero, two, nine, range, 800 yards. Estimated depth, shallow. Shallow. Ready depth charges. Shallow pattern. Bridge. Poor lookout. Merchant ship. CBDR. Buried. Two. Two. Eight. Range closing quickly. I say again. CBDR. CB. Contact. Able. Now bears. Zero. Two. Eight. Range. Eight hundred yards. Bearing steady. I think we're gonna crash into a boat here. <laughs> Uh, All engines ahead, standard. All engines ahead, standard. Aye, sir. All engines ahead, two thirds. All engines ahead, two thirds. Aye, Aye sir. Steady as she goes. Aye. Steady on course three, six, yeah. zero. Contact. Well, we knew that was now bears. Happen. <laughs> zero, two, six, range. Well. That's what the game is like. It's a it's a true simulator, so you're gonna have to like in the old days you would have had to read a manual, but nowadays it's um, watch video tutorials and and then there's another tutorial that I don't know if it's interactive or not. It didn't look like it was, um, but it just walked you through how the different uh, sections in that work, but not actually telling you how to how to do things, that's what the video tutorial was for, how you had to do things um, in a, you know, out in the environment. So yeah, um, it, uh, you know, it's a shame that I'm going to have to end a video like this, but it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking for a, um, a simulator like this uh, at the moment. Because the simulator, you have to commit yourself to to learning and, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, and I'm not really looking to, to get into that at the moment, so. Maybe I'll do another demo video uh, of another game. Uh, now just to try something else. Alright then, we'll see you then.